Still look fat. Did I hit record yet? It's playing. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> Today is May 15th. 15th. And this is Greg Sarlos, our intern. Say hi, Greg. How you doing? Greg Sarlos is coming to us between his junior and senior year of college, and he wants to decide if he wants to be a part of this. Currently, Brad is behind the camera and wants to have no part in what we're about to do. Greg Sarlos is deciding if he wants to be a part of Sarlos and Son. If he wants to be a part of our winemaking operation. Don't do it. If he wants to be a part of our farming operation. If he wants to be a part of our tasting room. If he wants to be part of this heavy burden of lifestyle that is the Sarlos and Son. So Greg, this is going to be a seven day a week job. We're going to teach you as much as we can in the next three months about each step of our farming, of our winemaking process, and what it is to work in the taste room. Are you accepting this responsibility and clearing Brad and I of all uh, negligence, and you will not sue us for anything we do, right? I accept. Perfect, Greg accepts. So, <clears throat> today is day one, and it's about eight o'clock in the morning. We let Greg sleep in a little bit, what we are standing in is the El Camino Real Vineyard. The first things Greg's going to learn today is to touch every single one of our vines and what that means. So right now, you see the vines are forming up. We're almost getting ready to uh, do lateral positioning. But one of the things we have to do, we have to go through and remove suckers. Any place vine is not pushing energy into grape production, we need to remove it because that's a waste and it takes away from the vine, from the fruit, from the quality of the grapes that we are going to grow. So Greg's first day, and probably it's going to take well more than your first day, Greg is going to go touch every single one of our vines. He's going to go remove anything that's unnecessary so that the vine itself can grow well and produce good fruit. So just like Greg, he is deciding if he is necessary or not. And if he's not, then he's going to choose not to be a part of this. But if he chooses to become part of the vine, become part of the family, become part of the, the grape growing process, then he's going to learn it really quick. So today, Greg Sarlos is going to go throughout our entire vineyard, step by step, each one of our rows is uh, close to a full third, almost half a mile, and we have about 300 rows. So over the next few days, Greg is going to walk, touch, and instruct every single one of our vines. And by doing so, he is making our wine better. It's a very small portion of an overall plan, but it's a portion that needs to be done. So Greg, here is your beanie. Here's your backup beanie. Good luck. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.